Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Oh boy, we are inside the Decimal Mansion, and this is crazy scary. I thought the number one said there was going to be a party here. This is not anything like a math party I've been to. The invitation said go to the Decimal Mansion on Decimal Lane. Gig, did you hear that? Okay, you guys learn about writing decimals while we try and find this party. Today we're going to practice writing decimals. Decimal numbers are very common and they require a strong understanding of place value. So let's review our place value house. Our decimal point separates whole numbers that are written on the left from decimal numbers that are written on the right. Only one digit can go in any box or place value at a given time. From the left of the decimal point, we have ones, tens, and hundreds. To the right of the decimal point, we have tenths, hundreds, and thousands. There are many more place values in both directions, but we will focus on these six place values for now. Let's try a problem. Please type the number 74 and 5 thousandths. 74 is written like this. The 7 means that we have 7 tens, and the 4 means that we have 4 ones. The word and is the word we say for the decimal point. So the numbers written in our sentence after the word and are the decimal numbers. Five thousandths means we need to place a five in the thousandths place value. Notice we have nothing written in the tenths and hundredths place values. Since we have a five in the thousandths place value, we will use zeros as placeholders in the tenths and hundredths places. The decimal form of this number is written like this. We read it as 74 and 5 thousandths. Great job! Let's try this problem. Please type the decimal number for the expanded form of 8 times 10 plus 3 times 1 plus 4 times 1 tenth plus 2 times 1 one hundredth. Expanded form is pretty nice, as it shows us how many of each place value we have. So let's use our place value house. 8 times 10 means that we have 8 tens. 3 times 1 means that we have 3 ones. 4 times 1 tenth means that we have 4 tenths. And 2 times 1 one hundredth means that we have 2 hundredths. The decimal number is written like this, 83 and 42 hundredths. You help me with another problem? Please type the decimal number for the expanded form of 9 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 4 times 1 plus 9 times 1 tenth plus 5 times 1 one thousandth. Let's go straight to our place value house. 9 times 100 means we have 9 hundreds. 2 times 10 means we have 2 tens. 4 times 1 means we have 4 ones. 9 times 1 tenth means that we have 9 tenths. And 5 times 1 one thousandth means we have 5 thousandths. Notice how we skip the hundredths place value? we will write a zero as a placeholder. Our number is written as 924 and 905 thousandths. Nice work. Did you guys learn about writing decimals? Great. 
Gig and I really don't think the party is here. Hello? Hey, Bob, it's the number one. Well, what do you mean we went to the wrong house? Oh. What did the number one say? The party is next door with all the balloons and people out front. Oops. Okay. We are going to go to the party now. Let's get out of here as fast as possible. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.